If you think the way to succeed financially is to make a lot of money, <laughs> I'm here to tell you, few things are further from the truth. Succeeding financially has a lot more to do with what you do with the money you're making right now than trying to make more. And in this video, you're going to learn three cash flow secrets to succeeding financially at almost any income level. And once you've succeeded with the money you're making right now, just imagine what you'll be able to do when your income does climb. And if you want to really succeed when it comes to your personal financial life, then click on the subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be notified when we publish new videos. We've been teaching people the secrets to succeeding financially at all income levels for decades. Succeeding financially involves a lot more than just making a lot of money. If what you're doing with the money you're making right now isn't helping you get ahead, then making more money can actually make matters worse. Hi, I'm best-selling personal finance author, Tony Manganiello. Since 1995, my business partner, John Commuta, and I have helped over 3 million people get on the path to real financial success at all income levels. Because it's not how much money you make that matters as much as what you do with the money you're already making that really counts. And if you can begin to succeed financially at the level of income you're at right now, when you do make more money, your level of success will just keep climbing. Cash flow secret number one is having the proper definition of financial success. Now, what is your definition of financial success right now? Most people have a dollar amount in mind when they think of uh, succeeding financially, you know, like making a certain amount of money. Now, maybe you do too, but numbers are all relative and dollar amounts mean different things to different people. So let me offer you a two-part definition of financial success that you may not have considered. Succeeding financially is to first replace financial anxiety with financial peace of mind, and second, to replace desire for material possessions with contentment for what you already have. Think about this and let it really sink in. Think about where you are right now and ask yourself the following questions. If I'm feeling financial anxiety, what is the source? Now, are you worried about making payments or paying for college or having enough to retire? Take some time and Get as specific as you can with whatever is causing you to experience the anxiety when it comes to your personal finances. You'll never be able to resolve financial anxiety unless you can identify what's causing it. And a quick secret to being able to dissolve financial anxiety is to realize that whatever the cause, it is not permanent. You know you've had to overcome difficult times in the past, and while it's not pleasant, it's not the end of the world. Then ask yourself, what material possessions do I feel I lack? Now, I'm not going to go into a diatribe about wants and needs or anything like that. And I'm not going to try and make you feel like you shouldn't want certain things out of life. What I will say is that you simply need to be realistic. I mean, if you're making 50 grand a year and you want a 300-foot yacht to sail the world around with, yeah, it would be nice, but it's probably not a realistic goal and most likely a waste of your energy to keep thinking about it. A secret to being content with what you have right now is to simply adopt an attitude of gratitude for what you do have. Now, while things can always get better, they can always be worse too. I have goals and I'm always working to improve my situation. However, I also make it a daily practice to be thankful for all I have been blessed with. A quick secret to feeling abundance right now instead of experiencing feelings of lack is to be thankful for what you do have. Every day I set reminders on my phone to go off every three hours and each reminder simply says two little words, be thankful. When they go off, I take a moment and I do my best to focus on the many blessings I have. Replacing financial anxiety with financial peace of mind and desire with contentment will also help lay the foundation for the improvement you are looking for financially. Now, have you ever considered a definition of success like the one I'm talking about here ever before? Let me know in the comments what you think. 
Also, if you have a different definition of financial success, I would love to hear it. So let me know. Cash flow secret number two is making the generator to accumulator transformation. Now, whether you believe it or not, you are right now a wealth generator. Yep, you are at this very moment generating wealth. But what you're probably not doing is accumulating much of the wealth you're already generating. This right here is at the core of what we've been teaching for nearly three decades. Just think about how much cash you have flowing through your checking account every month right now. Each month, you've got thousands of dollars flowing through that account. Each year, tens of thousands of dollars. If you've added up all the cash you've had flow through your account over the past five years, you're looking at a small fortune. But how much of that small fortune have you accumulated? Probably not nearly as much as you'd hoped. And if you're experiencing any financial anxiety or lack, this is the problem. So there are two things you need to do. First, you need to realize the finite in your finances. Here's what I mean. No matter what your level of income is right now, you know whether you're generating 50 grand a year or 500 grand a year, between now and when you wanna quit working, there is a finite number of years and a finite amount of income you're going to generate over those years. Consider this example. If your household income is $80,000 a year and you have 15 years between now and when you wanna quit working, that's $1.2 million in gross income you're going to generate. Now, after you've paid your taxes, you're probably going to bring home about $1 million during that time frame. That is a small fortune. Now, remember, I said you are generating wealth. The question now becomes how much of that small fortune you'll generate between now and when you want to quit working will you accumulate? When you look at your past wealth generation and your current lack of accumulated wealth, you probably already know that the reason you haven't accumulated any wealth is because you've had to pay bills, right? And you're probably thinking that the bill payment scenario you're currently living out right now probably isn't going to change much. And you think to truly achieve financial success, you have to make more money. Let me tell you this. That is a complete and total lie. You want proof? Just ask yourself how many times throughout your working lifetime you walked into a career scenario where you were beginning to generate more income. You know, people are job hopping and promotion seeking and working hard to get that raise all the time. I'm sure you've had a few raises or you know increases in income yourself throughout your past working lifetime, right? You see what I mean? Making more money usually leads to spending more. Instead of thinking in terms of making more money, you should change that perspective to generating more wealth. It's not making more money, it's generating more wealth. And when you think in terms of wealth generation, then you can begin to think in terms of wealth accumulation. The only thing that's interfering with your wealth accumulation is you spending your wealth. You see, when you spend, you're not merely spending money, you're spending your wealth. Now, like I said before, I'm not going to go into like a big, long diatribe about needs and wants, but what I will share with you is a second part of this cash flow secret that you should consider. That second part is to adopt a not now mentality. Adopting a not now mentality is not adopting a not ever mentality. Now, it's been said that the number one reason people fail financially is because of the inability to delay gratification. Adopting a not now mentality is to realize that you're not depriving yourself of the thing you want. What you are depriving yourself of, though, is the interest you'd have to pay if you paid for that thing that you want with debt. If you start making more money and you begin to think, finally, I can get that new car that I want. Ask yourself, do you need that new car right now? I mean, is your current car unreliable? If it is, then perhaps it is time to trade it in for something that you can trust will get you where you need to go. But if your current car is reliable, then simply tell yourself, no, not now. Instead of focusing on material possessions now, focus on taking total command of your current cash flow. And this is where most people fail. And this is what cash flow secret number three is all about. 
Cash flow secret number three is to redirect your cash flow. Earlier, we talked about how you currently have thousands of dollars in cash flowing through your checking account. Each month, cash flows in when you get paid and it flows out when you pay your bills. From what I've seen in decades of helping people get on the path to succeeding financially, I found that there is one thing in particular that's causing them to fail. It isn't lack of education or knowledge, but having a firm understanding of how money works is important. But knowing what to do is only part of the success formula. It isn't lack of action, but obviously taking action is important. You can't create change or transformation without action. However, taking the right kind of action is as important as taking action in the first place. And the one thing I've seen that has caused so many people to fail is this. It's the type of account your cash is flowing through. Right now, your cash is most likely flowing through a bank checking account. You set one up because you need somewhere to store your income in a place from where you can execute your bill payments. And you obviously can't pay bills without one. For decades, my business partner, John Commuta, have taught people how to use one of these types of accounts, you know, a regular bank checking account, and use that to become completely debt-free in about five to seven years, save them uh, $100,000 more in interest payments on average, and get on the path to accumulating wealth. But a few years ago, John discovered a special kind of account that would help people pay off all of their debt and accumulate wealth with the same dollars at the same time. What this meant was while you were paying off your debt and getting on the path to reclaiming the thousands of dollars you're spending on debt payments, those same debt elimination dollars could be simultaneously building wealth for your future. I was totally blown away. At first, I was like, let me see this account you're talking about. You know, I'm a numbers guy. And if I'm going to get behind something, I need to know how it works. Needless to say, now I have one of these accounts too. And John and I have dedicated our professional lives to helping people find out how these kinds of accounts can help them. Now, these kinds of accounts are called private family banks. And if you're thinking you'd like more information about how a private family bank can help you succeed financially, then click the link below. When you click the link, you'll be able to get your hands on the Banker's Secret to Permanent Family Wealth by my partner, John. In it, you'll learn everything you need to know about how these accounts work and how simple it is for you to start one. These types of accounts are not available at your local bank. So save yourself some research time and click the link below and get the info on how you can start your very own private family bank and get on the path to true financial success. If you like this video, click the like button and let me know. And if you have any questions about the information we talked about in this video, leave it for me in the comments. I read them each week and will respond to you directly as soon as I can. Succeeding financially requires that you gain a wealth accumulation perspective on all that cash, that, that wealth you're already generating and going to generate between now and when you want to quit working. And so to train your brain and get that wealth accumulation perspective going between your ears, you need to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you'll get notified when we publish new videos. Helping you succeed financially? Hey, it's what we're all about. And we show you practical and useful strategies that will help you transform yourself from you know, just being a wealth generator into becoming a wealth accumulator with simple but powerful strategies designed to help you direct your cash flow where it needs to go. Right back to you. You can start learning more right now by checking out our quick start course and our money myth videos right here. You know what they say? There's no time like the present. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.